today we are going to talk about how to read the Z table. I discussed about the Z score. In that case, I would like to recall about the Z distribution which we call as standard normal distribution or standard normal distribution is another term for Z distribution. In Z distribution, in the X axis, in this X axis, we have the Z values. Here, the Z value is 0 and Z value is 1, Z value is 2, Z value is 3. So, like that we have Z values. In between, we can have 0 0.05, 1.5. So, like that, there are Z values and this scale, if you can recall the variable lecture, this scale is an interval scale Why? we have minus values as well as plus values. Also, zero does not mean that absence of values. In the previous lecture, I discussed that we can get the area under the curve in the known points. For example, mean plus or minus 1 SD, we know that 68% is there. But if it is between something like 0.64 from minus 1 to 0.64 we don't know the exact probability at 0.64 to calculate the probability I told you that we can do two things one is integrate the formula the second one is we can use the Z table in this lecture I am going to discuss about how to read the Z table generally Z table indicates the area under the curve towards the left from a certain point. For example, now Z score is 0. If the Z score is 0, we know that this is the point at the center. We know that 50% of the observations are in the left side from the line drawn at the value 0. So we know that this area under the curve is 50%. We can easily get as we know. But let's see what does the Z table tell us. In order to understand the lecture on Z table, I would like to recommend you to download the Z table from internet and keep it in your hand and compare these values in your own Z table. Of course, this is a part of Z table. So don't worry about all these values. These are true values I got from Z table, but Z table is a bit larger one. I took only some of the values from the Z table. In Z table, in, in the first column, we have the Z values. Z score 0, Z score 0.5, Z score 1, 1.6, so like that. Generally, we have 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, like that. So, I have omitted many of the values and I have got only few of the values. Like, I got only this row and 0.5 row, 1 row, 1.6 row. But keep in mind, we have the other rows as well, 1.7, 1.71, 1.72, 1 so like that. And 2, 2.5, 3. And we have the minus values as well because we are interested in the minus values also. 1.9, 1.6, 1. All the minus values are there. And also, we have the Z values in the first row as well. If you are interested in 0 0.04, you have to get 0 from here and you have to add 0 0.04 to that. So 0 plus 0 0.04 is 0 0.04. And if you are interested in 1.96, the most common value in 95% confidence interval, 1.96, you have to get 1.9 from here, 1.9 from here, and you have to add 0 0.06. So, you can add 0 0.06. And in the columns also, we have like 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. So, I have to only four columns. 0 0.00, 0 0.04, 0 0.06 and 0 0.09 and we have the proportions towards left of the certain points in this 
numbers. Okay, first one is at d equal 0. When the z equal 0, we know that the proportion towards the left from this specific axis, or in other words, area under the curve towards left from 0 is 50%. So here you can see the z score 0. And from this side also 0, 0 plus 0, 0. So z score is 0. Area under the curve is 50% or 0.5. You can easily understand that it's 0.5. Now we know that the area under the curve towards left from z score 1 or towards the lower side from one standard deviation. This total area. So we know that we have 50% up to here and we have another 34% because we know that the plus or minus is 68%. So in this area we have 34%. So the total the green color area is 0.84. We know that 0.84 or 84%. We will see that. We know that the value is 1. From this side, we need only 0 because it's 1.00. So 1.00 area under the curve is 84%, it's approximate value. So you can identify that it's 0.84134. That means 84% of the observations are at this green colored area. Okay, let's consider the z score equals 2. So z equals 2. So that is the total area under the curve from plus 2 standard deviations. And you know that towards right from z score 2 is approximately 2.5%. We know that this area consists of only 2.5% of the observations. So this total green colored area must be 97.5%. So let's see that one. That is 2.0 and this side we know that it's 0% because we are interested in 2.0 and the probability is you can see that 0.97725 that means approximately 97.7 or 97.5% of the observations are there. That is how exactly you read the Z table. We'll take another example. Okay. Let's consider z equals minus 1. z equals minus 1. That means the point is somewhere here. We know that 50% of the values are there. And another 34% here. This area we have 34%. And from this area we have 50%. So the area towards left from minus 1 SD should be approximately 50 plus 34, 84, so this should be around 16% of the observations. So let's see what will happen at minus 1. It is minus 1 here and we are getting 0 from there because we are interested in minus 1, not minus 1.1 or 1.2, it's just 1.1. So it should be approximately 16%. You can see the proportion here. So the z score is minus 1.0. And the area under the curve is 0.15866 or 15.86%, which is approximately 16%. I hope you are clear about how to read the Z table. Now we will concern a critical one. We know in statistics we are interested in 95%. What is 95%? 95% is the range of mean plus or minus. 1.96 standard deviations. So I have drawn it here. We have mean 0 in standard normal distribution or z distribution plus 1.96 and minus 1.96. How do you find out this area? We can easily do this minus 1.96. We know that the area under the curve from this side this should be 2.5%. First we will consider that one. From this side minus we have minus 1.9 and we have to add 0.6 from that one so it's 0.6. So you compare these two values minus 1.9 and 0.06 and the value should be somewhere here. So you can see this value which is 
0.02500 or 2.5 percent we are okay we know that it is 2.5 percent and if you are interested in plus 1.96 also so this total area as i explained earlier we know that 2.5 percent of the values which are above 1.96 so we know that this area must be 97.5 percent approximately so we will consider that one so we have to get 1.9 from here and 0 0.06 from this side to make sure that we get 1.96 so 1.9 plus 1 0.06 it's 1.96 and the value is this one 0 0.97500 or 97.5 so we know that this one we are interested in mean plus or minus 1.96 or if i close this one mean plus or minus 1.96 is this total area we know that it's approximately 95 percent how do you get this point now we understood that the upper point probability is 0 0.9750 and you have to subtract the lower limit value which is point 0 0.2500 which equals 0 0.005900 that is exactly 95% I hope you are clear that point that is how you read the set table keep in mind we have more values in between these values I have taken only four columns and we have many rows depending on the set table you are referring there are so many practical applications of this set table please download the set table and be familiar with the values of a set table thank you very much